Hello, this is Gogi from Gogiratin and you're watching the handset and gaming review of Micromax Canvas Fire, also called the Micromax A104. It's called Canvas Fire because it comes with dual speakers placed on the front. Let's have a look at the specifications that are mentioned on the box. It is powered by 1.3 GHz quad core processor, supports 3G, 21 Mbps, comes with a 4.5 inch screen with FW VGA resolution, 1 GB RAM, 4 GB internal storage. It's a quad band handset running KitKat with 1900 mAh battery. The SAR values are also mentioned here. Inside the box, you'll find the Fire handset, travel charger, data cable, screen guard, download goodies, user guide, warranty card, standard quality earphone from Micromax and the battery of 1900 mAh capacity. Here is the handset in gold and white color combination. It is a bit bulky. The handset has got a glossy finish and here are the three touch sensitive buttons. Micro USB port and audio jack are placed on the top, power button and the volume rockers on the right side and there is a mic at the bottom. The back cover is made of plastic and is a little flexible. This is a dual SIM handset, this is the SIM slot 1, SIM slot 2 and the micro SD card slot. You need a micro SIM for SIM slot 2. The handset weight with battery is 163 grams. It is 9.84 mm thick, the breadth is 67.36 mm and the length is 135.86 mm. There are dual speakers on the front panel, however the speaker vents are not properly placed. You can see here it's a little on the right and on the top it's a little on the left. This is a front camera of VGA resolution and the sensors. Let's power on this device, it's running the KitKat OS. Color reproduction looks good, touch is smooth and responsive and the performance is also pretty good. The handset comes preloaded with a lot of applications. There is FM radio, Kingsoft office, MAD application and also the Reverie phone book. Here are the quick settings options. The dedicated navigation buttons, they do light up. There is no Wi-Fi direct, Wi-Fi hotspot, USB and Bluetooth dithering is supported. 0.89 GB is the space allocated for apps and uh, the phone storage is 1.53 GB. You get 694 MB free for apps and of the 1 GB RAM you get around 663 MB free. Viewing angles are okay, it's not that great as you can see here. The screen is not clearly visible from several angles. Hindi language is supported and there is built-in GPS. Let's have a look at the hardware. It's using the MediaTek MT6582 quad-core chipset clocked at 1.3 GHz with Mali 400 MP GPU. Running KitKat 4.4.2 with screen resolution of 854 by 480 pixels. There are two sensors, accelerometer and proximity. The light sensor is missing. There is no auto brightness option as you can see. I tried connecting a pen drive using the OTG cable, OTG is not supported, the time is 10.52, battery at 94% and the temperature at 31 degrees, quadrant benchmark score is 7.295, antidote score is 17940, Vilamo Metal 736 Multicore 1229, Browser 1909, Dinamark 2 55.3 FPS and this handset supports 3 point multi-touch. Let's check out the camera application. Here is the camera interface. The interface is similar to as seen on many other handsets. But the interesting part here is that it does come with a QR scanner. There is beauty shot, live photo, panorama, HDR option is also supported. Rear camera is 5 megapixel. It's an autofocus camera. It can shoot videos in 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. The front camera can shoot images in 1.3 megapixel resolution. After 23 minutes, the battery dropped by 5% and the temperature is 34 degrees. For the next test, I'm going to switch on Wi-Fi and have set the brightness to the maximum. I'm going to play this video in a loop for some time. This is a 1080p video shot using the same handset. After 18 minutes, the battery dropped by 5% and the temperature is 33 degrees. I've installed these games on the external storage. You can install apps on the external storage. The gameplay is very smooth. This is Modern Combat 4. 
Sometimes the game does lag but it is playable. And now let's move on to Asphalt 8. I am going to set it to the highest visual quality and the game is playable. I played these games for about 18 minutes, the battery dropped by 10% and the temperature is 42 degrees. Micromax Canvas Fire is using the well-known 1.3 GHz quad-core processor from MediaTek. There are dual front speakers on this handset, however the speaker vents are not properly aligned. Probably on the black handset it will not be easily visible. The handset is bulky and the light sensors are missing. OTG is also not supported. The handset is priced at approximately 6800. Micromax Unite 2 is a better option than this. For full review, sample images and videos visit my website kogi.in.